In this video, we will talk about the life and mysterious death of one of the greatest inventors in the world, Rudolf Diesel. Rudolf Diesel was a German engineer who is known for one of the best inventions in the history of humankind. That is the diesel engine, which is named after him. Rudolf Diesel was born on 18 March 1858 in Paris. His family was a Bavarian immigrant. The financial condition of Diesel's family was poor. His father had a leather workshop, where he used to manufacture leather goods. Diesel also had to work in his father's workshop. However, Diesel was a brilliant student and continued his studies while working at the workshop. He became interested in engineering and technology at the age of 12. Diesel's family, along with other migrants, had to leave Germany as a result of the Franco-Prussian War, and they settled in London. After returning to Germany, Diesel told his parents about his interest in engineering and enrolled at the Industrial School of Augsburg. Soon he received a scholarship from the Technical University of Munich, where he graduated in 1880. After graduation, he worked to build refrigerators and efficient steam engines, but inspired by his former professor, he began designing an efficient internal combustion engine. At that time, the steam engine was the most popular power source for industries, but it only had an efficiency of around 10%, whereas 90% of the available energy in the fuel was wasted in it. Diesel's goal was to gain maximum efficiency. He worked on his ideas for several years and built his first engine in 1893. Unfortunately, this engine didn't work as per expectations. However, he improved the design and got remarkable success in 1897. The efficiency of his engine was 25%, which was 15% higher than that of a steam engine. As Diesel's first successful design came up, many developers joined in the work and improved the commercial viability of Diesel's idea. Rudolf Diesel, on the other hand, began receiving threats for the commercial rights of his invention. People wanted to snatch credit from Rudolf. Other mafias who dominated the traditional power industry were unhappy with the success of the new diesel engine, and Rudolf was being criticized for his role in inventing the engine. The tensions increased as Diesel attempted market promotion of his invention. On 29 September 1913, Rudolf Diesel left for London on a passenger ship to attend a meeting relating to consolidated diesel manufacturing. After dinner, he went to his cabin to sleep, but then he mysteriously disappeared. He was not in his cabin the next morning. His belongings, including a nightshirt, watch, and overcoat, were found in the cabin. Ten days later, the crew of a boat found a corpse of a man. The corpse was so decomposed that they didn't pull it out of the water. Instead, they retrieved personal items from the shabby clothes of the dead man. Fifteen days later, Diesel's son identified the items as his father's belonging. There has been a lot of speculation about his death. Some people argue that he committed suicide, while others believe he was murdered because he refused to grant exclusive rights of his invention to the German forces and other powerful people at the time. In addition, Rudolf Diesel is said to have intended to meet with the officials of the British Royal Navy because they are interested in Diesel's engine to be used in the submarines. However, there is no concrete evidence for any of these theories and the death of the one of the greatest inventors remains unsolved. Today, from automobiles to large construction equipment, diesel engines are found everywhere. The efficiency of the diesel engine has made it the engine of choice for the industry. Rudolf Diesel died mysteriously before capitalizing on his invention. However, his invention has revolutionized the world and is serving billions of people today, which is far better than the money. That's it for today, guys. Hopefully, you would have enjoyed this video. See you next time with more interesting stuff.